YouTube is Danny back with another video, another Tales from the Thrift episode. Probably gonna be a short episode, maybe. Depends on what I find in this place. This is a Salvation Army, and one I've never been to. It looks pretty new. And uh, we're gonna go thrifting. I'm, I got Julian with me. We just got done at a, what's it, fish? Uh, the aquarium swapper shop yeah. kind of thing. The Heart of America Aquarium Society's Spring Swap. Yeah. So, if you're in Kansas City and you like fish and plants and water, Check it out. I should probably put the link below. I think I will do that. <laughs> if you give me the link, I'll put it below. So yeah, and we're gonna go see what's in here. So could find something. Uh, last week I sold that CSI Miami I showed you guys in the last video. Paid five bucks for it. Sold it for sixty dollars plus shipping. So quite the profit. Sold a bunch of other stuff, but that's the one I remember right now. So with that being said, it is hot as balls. We're gonna go outside. All right. It's a nice looking place. I like I like these little statues of different stuff. I like the Lego is really cool, but yeah. All right, we're going in. All right, so this place is absolutely massive. So big. Um, this book is like from the '80s, but it's not really worth anything. Some of the past. I do like the way it looks though, because it's definitely '80s looking. So, um, nothing too crazy. Nothing really a heavy hitter, but I did find. This Minecraft book, super fun crossover book for Minecrafters and teaching psychology. Mental health books always go for a lot. <laughs> I don't know why, but they do. So I think that's it for the books. Uh, nothing, again, nothing crazy. A lot of religious books over here. Stuff that I don't really care about. Um, and all these books, yeah, they're going for a few bucks, but nothing's like. I'm looking for that heavy hitter. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know, when I buy books for five bucks and sell for 80, you know, none of that. These are probably 20. Actually, no, this is probably 15, that's probably 20, so, which is fine, because they're ninety nine a piece, so I'll, I'll get those for sure, but, yeah, we're, keep, we're gonna keep moving. Snap on chest set. Really? Oh, that's cool. The little piston heads. Yo, that's, okay, I'm gonna look up the price of that, unless you want it. Yeah, but I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Who, who, who all had one of these? I think most of us 80s, 90s kids did. A little play school. Uh little recorder apologies for the very loud christian music we're in salvation army so praise jesus anyway <laughs> i need to stop <laughs> but um but yeah seven bucks i'm not gonna get it i thought about it but i was like eh, i probably can't flip it for that much but what'd you do with that what'd you do with that uh, okay i'm gonna look this up this this could be this could be something so yeah and keep looking found obviously more vhs all disney so remember, forty nine cents a piece. These go for at least five or maybe more dollars on eBay. Easy profit. So plus shipping, obviously. So yeah. All right. Here's a vintage copy of Uno from nineteen eighty three. They went three. It's only going for like five bucks on eBay, so I'm not gonna pick it up. But it's cool. Me and David and all of them, the rest of our friends, all play this once in a while, and we have fun, obviously, on stream. So yeah. Should be some VODs of Uno games on this channel. In fact, there is. So just look for that. Yeah. But back to the shelf it goes. So, all right. Yo, so they went a little crazy with the, yeah, they did. the labels. <laughs> They're everywhere. But... Okay, so the other good, or, sorry, Salvation Army. I saw the same TV for ten dollars. They want seventy here at this Salvation Army, which is ridiculous. And all goes to show you, it's all about location. Like this, this A one, twenty five dollars. Like no, it's not what we're doing. Was that? Like Tetris pieces. Huh. That light up as you stack them. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Gee, I want to know how much it is. Hmm. What's sure the price tag? Twenty five dollars. No. No, everything is like high priced. Is there anything good? Eight bucks, it's probably not worth it. Six dollars, definitely not worth it. Vizio's eight dollars. It's too much. Oh, this is way too much. All right, Six dollars, that's a little better. But no, no door. $25. 
five dollars for that. Nope. I'm not finding anything in this one. It's all just too high, too, way too high. So, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we were in the hood. I don't know why they made the, the hood version of Salvation Army so pricey, it's so weird. Lower income means to be lower prices, just saying. Which is crazy because it's a lower income neighborhood, so whatever. Okay, you're in the light box once again, and I still can't find my tripod, so you're sitting on one of these. So I use this to hold like discs and stuff like that when I'm listing on eBay, just to make it look more professional. Anyway, um yeah, spent 48 bucks at the first Salvation Army. The second one was a complete bust. I, I will never understand why a Salvation Army located in the ghetto, that's what it is, would sell things higher. It That makes no sense. Anyway, whatever. Um, different video for a different day. I got 15 VHS tapes. So, and these, you know, these sell. I, that's why I look for Disney. So, first we've got Return of Jafar. I think I have a couple of these, but Return of Jafar is one. And then we've got... Aladdin, which I already have more than one copy of. I like to buy duplicates of the same because the people look for these because it's Disney. Disney Classics. Um, yeah, in fact, it's got the, the Classics logo on it. Black label. So, yeah, kind of hard to see. It's in cinematic mode. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Okay. Yeah, got that. Um, got a couple of Toy Stories. So, very cool. So, and, you know, these are not... Large profits, definitely not life-changing money. But remember, I pay 50 cents per VHS, and they sell for like 5 to 6 some or even $10. So, Lion King. So, I mean, it does add up. It really does. Uh, Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, which I actually never saw. Maybe someday I'll watch that. I've never seen Simba's Pride. By the time that came out, I was out of Disney movies. Like, I used to like Disney when I was really little, but these days, like... Ever since I was like 12 and up, I didn't care for Disney anymore. So, Beauty and Beast. Uh, animated 101 Dalmatians. I used to love this movie when I was a kid. So, very cool to see that. Um, Lion King again. So, yeah. Lion King goes for like $10 on eBay. So, that should be nice. Uh, this is probably the third copy I own of 101 Dalmatians now. Um, so I'm just going to add change quantities from two to three. So there's that. And we're not done. There's more. I bought two more Bambies. So these, I think, are over like $6 on eBay. So uh, just going to change quantity listing on that listing. The quantity on that listing, I should say. Lady and the Tramp 2, which I never saw. So, I got a bunch of little puppies on the back. So, yeah. There's that. Um, Beauty and the Beast and Enchanted Christmas. Never seen it. Again, don't really care. I don't know when this came out. It doesn't say. Uh, 1991, I guess. I think. There's a quote from 1991 on the back here, so I'm guessing 1991, correct me if I'm wrong, or don't, I really don't care, honestly, but anyway, um, uh, is this a third Lion King, or is this maybe the, I think I have either, I think I have three Lion Kings, 
Anyway, yeah, Lion King again, those James Quaddies. Uh, Pinocchio. That's definitely a classic. And is there, is that all? Is that all the VHS tapes? Yeah, it is. Okay. So that's all for VHS. Uh, next up, Teaching Psychology goes for about, I think, 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks on eBay. And yeah, the books, like they had a lot of books, but nothing like, nothing really worth that much. Here's the super funny colossal workbook for Minecrafters, grade three and four. That goes for like 20, 25 on eBay. Really big book. So completely, looks to be completely unused, which is good. I probably should have checked that before I bought it, but it looks like it's not used. So yeah, it, yeah, it's never been read then. It has never, ever been written in. So, yep, I can definitely sell this as new. It's in great shape, too. So, yeah, I will do just that. Never written in. Very nice. Um, okay, that's all for that bag. This bag's going to be quick. Social Star, the social media party game. New factory sealed. They wanted five bucks, so I bought it. Uh, it's obviously from Target. There's a Target clearance sticker on it, but it retails for like 20 bucks on eBay. So we got one factory sealed and they had another one. So I have two, two factory sealed. So very nice. Those will probably take a while. So that's fine. It's no big deal. Board games I have sold before. They do take a while. Not a big deal. Uh, five nights at Freddy's, the chicken. Um, I think it was going for like 17 to 20 on eBay. Paid a buck 99 for each stuffed animal. So there's the big version, the smaller version with a little bit chipping in the eyes, and I will make sure that's noted in the listing. So, but I can still get something for it. Not a big deal. Um, and then we got Build a Bear, My Little Pony. This one cost me like five bucks, but it's going for like 20. So not a huge profit, but it will sell pretty big. So, all right, what else? And then we got the rabbit from Five Nights at Freddy's. The head of a rabbit, I guess. Uh, Paw Patrol, Ty Beanie Baby looks brand new. Uh, Chase is his name, I guess. So it looks like about maybe eight to $10 on eBay, so. Pretty cool. Not bad. I paid buck ninety nine. Just small profits, but they do add up. They really do. And the last bag. Winnie the Pooh was a buck ninety nine. I didn't even comp it because it's Winnie the Pooh. So if I get eight dollars, ten dollars, whatever, I'll take it. I don't know. I have to do some research on what which because there's tons of different versions of Winnie the Pooh stuffed animals. Tigger. So Kind of the same thing. Pretty cool. I mean, these looked excellent. They all said Eeyore, but Eeyore was dirty, so I didn't buy them. But Winnie the Pooh and Tigger look brand new, never touched. So, um, got Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's head. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell these heads as a lot, honestly. So another one, and then Foxy from Five Nights at Freddy's. So I don't have Chica. I think is the chicken's name. But I have these two and two Freddies. So one with his mouth open, one with his mouth closed. I should not realize that. So I'm going to sell all four of these as a lot. So, but yeah, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I do appreciate it. Kind of a shorter Tales from the Thrift episode. But, hey, I expected to find more with the second one. But everything is just too high. I can't flip at that one. And I won't go back to that one. It's just The store's clean. Don't get me wrong. But it is kind of dirty. Or dirty. I mean, it is kind of dimly lit. The store is very clean. It's not dirty. The store is clean. It's just dimly lit and everything's overpriced. So I can't really make a profit going there. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you more in the next video. More to come. Stay tuned. Take care.